this video we're going to take a look at one of the fundamental ways of storing information inside of an Oracle database and we're going to take a look at uh, something called a table. Table is how you're going to store most of your information inside an Oracle database. It's not the only way to store information but it's where most of the information is going to be stored. And you can think of a table as kind of a spreadsheet. So I'm going to draw what looks like kind of a spreadsheet thing here and we're going to have our columns along the top of the spreadsheet and we're going to store different things. So let's say I want to store my music collection. So what are the types of things I'm probably going to want to store inside my music collection? Well I'm probably going to start want to store like the last name of the artist. I'm probably going to want to store the first name of the artist. I'm probably going to want to store the actual you know album that's out there or CD and maybe I'll give it a rating. So that's going to be my uh, list of what my table is going to look like. So what are the types of things that I'm going to store? Well, I'm going to actually store, start storing the information in here, and I'm getting used to this new pad. I'm not very good at drawing it. So these are going to be my rows inside of my actual table, and I'm going to store data in. So if we draw it like this, Draw it like that. So, oh, didn't do a very good job there. But let's say I want to store the uh, the information now. So maybe for a group, I won't have a first name. You know, I'll just have like a last name. So I'll start with an album I've been listening to a lot lately. So you know, I want to store Radiohead. They don't have a first name. They got a album out there called OK Computer, and I'm going to give it a rating of nine. Maybe I also want to store uh, information about Pink Floyd. Again, no first name. Uh, I want to do the wall. And I'm also going to give that guy a 9. And then, you know, I'll have an artist here. I'll do it like Van Morrison. Uh, Moondance. And that's one of my favorite albums, so I'm going to give that guy a 10. So this is typically how we store information inside of an Oracle database. And what I want to do is I want to represent this information inside of the database now. So I'm going to create a table, and I'm going to go ahead and create it with each one of these pieces of information. Another thing that's important for me to note as I'm storing this information, let me change my pen color here, is the type of data that I'm going to put in each one of these. So last name, what's that going to be? Well, it's probably going to be character data. So we know that's going to be a character. First name is also probably going to be character. Album is going to be a character. But my rating, probably not going to be a character. It probably doesn't make any sense to do that. I'm probably wanting to have that as a number. And in other videos, we're going to take a look at all of the different types that are out there. But for now, we're just going to keep it kind of basic and store all of this different pieces of information. So how do we set up a table that's going to actually represent all of this information? I'm going to hop into a tool called SQL Developer. You don't have to use SQL Developer to uh, go out there and create your tables. There's a whole bunch of different ways of interacting with the Oracle database. Some people like to use the command line. Uh, there's a tool there called SQL Plus. I like using SQL Developer for a couple of reasons. It's free from Oracle. You don't have to pay anything for it. And uh, it'll show you a lot of the things that it's doing kind of behind the scenes. So I have this connection set up to a database. And you can see I can call it anything I want. So the database name is Sandbox. And I'm connecting as the HR user. So if I click on the plus sign there, you can see these are all of the different things that I can own inside of a database. I can own tables, views, indexes, packages. We're going to have videos for each one of these basic pieces. But let's say I want to create a new table. If I click on the tables plus sign, I can see these are all the tables that the HR user owns right now. If I right click on the table, you can see that I have the ability to go in there and do all these different things. And one of them is create a new table. So I'm going to click on that and a wizard's going to pop up. It's going to give me the opportunity to go out there and create a new table. There's a lot of different tables that are out there. You can have all of these really complex things. For now, I'm just going to stick with the basics. So if I want to uh, use this wizard to create a basic table, it's set up for me automatically. And I can go in here and start adding columns and do all of these different things. If I want to see the advanced functionality, I can click on this advanced tab and I can see all of these really complex things. Partitioning, comments, indexes, properties, foreign keys. I'm going to have videos that go through all that. But for now, just understand that we're using the 
uh, wizard here in kind of the basic mode just to create a basic table. So by default, it creates it in the schema that I selected, the HR schema. Instead of calling it table one, I'm going to rename it to something else. I'm going to uh, rename it to something like music. And it already created a, a dummy column for me. I can click on this column and change it around if I want. So I'm going to start off with artist L name. Well, let me make that all caps. I'm going to add another column called, and again, I can double click on this artist F name, and another column. I'll call this album, and I can add another column and call it rating. The really nice thing about this tool is that you see this other tab, DDL. This tab called DDL stands for uh, Data Definition Language, and it's going to show me the actual commands that I'm going to use to create this particular table. And here's the actual commands. Create table music, artist name, var char 2, var char 2, close, and you know, I don't want to have to remember all of this stuff. So I can let the graphical tool do it for me. I don't have to use this tool. I can use this tool just as kind of a code generator, and I can cut and copy this into like a SQL Plus session if I'm more comfortable doing things that way. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. Now, if we go back to our original drawing, we said, you know, we want, uh, these are all going to be character fields. This last one is going to be a number field. We want to change some of these things around. So Oracle has this thing called a varchar. And a varchar just stands for variable array of characters. And a variable array of characters just means that Oracle has a way of storing the information in a very efficient way. And this is what you're going to use most of the time when you're storing character information inside your Oracle database. There is another type of, out there called a character, but that's a fixed length field. So if you have something that you know isn't going to change size, like gender is always going to be just one character, you can make that a character field. And you can see I have the drop down here that lets me choose all of these different ones. These aren't the only ones that are available to me. Blob, clobs, date, numbers, and varchars. Again, because we're not in advanced mode, we're in basic mode, these are the only ones that show up. So I'm going to leave this. Now, is 20 characters enough for our artist's last name? Probably not. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to make this 30 characters. Artist's first name, I'm going to do the same thing there. I'm going to make that 30. The album, I'm also going to make that 30. Rating, we said we don't really want it to be a character field. That doesn't make sense. We'll turn that into a number field. And you can see the size disappears automatically. We have these other things called constraints. I'm going to have another video on constraints. But for now, just understand that these are rules that you can set up inside your each one of your columns uh, to have different pieces of information. Artist first name and last name. If we take a look at our original drawing here, we said we could probably have first name, can probably have null values in it. But I don't think we would ever want to have a situation where the last name has uh, a, a, a null value in it. We probably always want something there. So even uh, a one name artist like Madonna, we'd probably put that in as her last name just so we always have something there. So if we go back now, we take a look at this, we have this thing here that says not null. If I click on not null, it's basically saying I can't put a null value in there. I probably want to do that for my album. I probably never want to have an artist in there with an album that's blank. And maybe we'll live rating blank, blank because we don't really have that information. If we look at the DDL again, you can see that the things have been updated. Artist last name now has this not null constraint. The album name has a not null constraint. The rating is now set up to be a number. We've gone in there and as soon as we made changes here in the graphical part, it's already updated the stuff inside the DDL. I also have the ability to save the DDL as maybe a file that I'm going to uh, execute later. So this is a real nice tool for doing those types of things. So I'm going to leave all of these now. I think this is the way I want it. I click on OK. Oracle goes out there and it's going to actually start to create the table for me. And it's already created. So under Tables now you can see I now have this new one called Music. If I click on Music, I can see the columns, artist last name, artist first name, album. Does it have a nullable field? Any other fields that go along with it? There's no data in there because I haven't inserted any records yet. But that's the basics of creating a real simple table inside of Oracle.